Hello everybody and welcome back to Jared Opens a Box and welcome to Jared Opens a Box Season 5 Episode 7. Again, I am keeping track of all of them. <laughs> um, so welcome to a special edition of Jared Opens a Box. I always call uh, these episodes in between Jared Takes the L Seasons a special edition just because there's really no other content this week, although there is a live stream tonight uh, because of the change of plans. Uh, but that's technically not the case, you know, in any other instance. Um, so this is still a special edition episode. And boy, do I have a special uh, opening today. Because right here is the Walmart exclusive Freddy Frostbear action figure from Five Nights at Freddy's AR Special Delivery. And I also have his plush here with him as well. It's not in a box, but I just wanted to show it off because I was able to find this one as well. It was actually a Christmas gift. My girlfriend was somehow able to find it before it had even hit stores. And that's pretty crazy because um, what happened basically was this item was starting to release in Walmart stores. They're both Walmart exclusive. And they have stickers on them, I think. But... They both released in stores in like, you know, California, Texas, uh, New York, you know, all the places that usually get stuff, but never here. So what happened was they were selling them on Mercari and eBay and all of that. And as a surprise Christmas gift, I got both of them. And it's crazy because I was like, wow, you know, it hadn't even hit any stores by me yet. So I thought that was crazy. So kudos to her for that. Um, but... Today we're going to be reviewing these items. I will show off the Frostbear plush first because again, there's nothing to open here. Um, it's pretty cute actually. Uh, it's got a really nice color of blue. Um, it has a little mistletoe in his hat um, and his bow tie is uh, kind of a Christmassy colored one as well. He has a blue nose, blue um, freckles as well, uh, and he does have blue icy eyes. So. You know, to make him look extra creepy. And again, this is a Walmart exclusive. Only at Walmart. Um, he's joined by Chocolate Bonnie as a recent Walmart exclusive plush as well. Um, so, yeah, this one looks really cool. It's honestly one of my all-time favorite plushies. They did really good with this one. And I remember it was first revealed, I think, in September. Um, so it's really cool. I'm really happy about this one. But we have to get to the actual opening of this episode. I have been waiting to open this guy for so long, and now it is finally time to open Freddy Frost Bear. So obviously, obviously, <laughs> obviously this guy um, was released uh, kind of as part of a winter, uh, you know, kind of a Christmassy sort of thing, although he really didn't come out on Walmart's website until after Christmas. So, you know, take that however you want. I guess it's still kind of cold outside every once in a while, so that's what they were thinking. Um, but this is part of Five Nights at Freddy's uh, AR Special Delivery, which is a game on the phone. Uh, I do have it, but I can't really play it on the channel because I don't know how to do that. If you guys know how to do it, let me know. I would definitely like to play it at some point in the future, but, you know, again, I don't know uh, when that will be. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about this. The box looks pretty basic, I would say, although it does have very nice ice texture in the background. Uh, and it has his name right there. Only a Walmart sticker, and it is a collectible action figure. And uh, the back of the box only has Freddy Frostbear, although for some reason it does say collect them all, even though he's literally the only one that you can collect. <laughs> so I thought that was really weird. But it was really cool of Funko to make this, and... Not sure if you guys knew this, but there are more action figures out right now as we speak. And they will definitely be hitting the channel soon. Uh, those ones being uh, Chocolate Freddy, Chocolate Bonnie, Chocolate Chica, and Easter Bonnie. But as you know, Easter's already passed, so Easter Bonnie obviously isn't going to be a part of any Easter episode. But you'll have to blame Walmart for that, because, you know, couldn't get him in time. <laughs> but anyways, I'm just making jokes all over the place today. Let's just get into this thing. And he does have one of those, um, the white, uh, uh, what do they call them? The, the things, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. The strings that they kind of tie around them, you know? So I brought scissors. I've learned my lesson. 
I learned my lesson from the past times of trying to cut them uh, just with my bare hands. It never really works out. The only issue here is that there's really nowhere to cut. I guess right here. Try to get it there. There we go. Got that one. <laughs> Try to plant the, there we go. I think I got it. Yep, that's all of them. Okay, very nice. Pop out, ready. He lost an arm, just like that. Just like uh, any other ice sculpture would, you know? Wait, what? Why can't I? His icicle is trapped. <laughs> Wait, what? What is his icicle in? Why can't I get the icicle? Oh, it has tape on it. Oh, that's so dumb. I'm trying, guys. I promise I'm trying. <laughs> I didn't realize that the icicle was going to have tape. I got it! Yay! Okay. Let me get his arm back on, and then I'll talk about him for a little bit here. There we go. All right, here he is, and oh my goodness. You want to talk about a good Five Nights at Freddy's action figure? <laughs> this is a good Five Nights at Freddy's action figure. I mean, this one right here, honestly, this one right here, honestly, might be the best one. I, I, know, I know that sounds like, a, it's like it's a crazy claim, but besides Vanny, who I also really enjoyed, this one looks really good. Like, they put a lot, I can tell they put a lot of effort into this. I know it's probably just a repaint of Freddy. But at this point, Freddy has like 800 different versions of himself anyways. So, you know, what are you going to do? Um, I love how translucent it is. It actually looks like he's made of ice. So they did good there. They didn't just paint Freddy blue and call it a day. No, they actually made him look translucent. That is fantastic looking. I love the texture. They have really weird, like, little, like, ice stains, I guess, kind of all around him, which does look a little weird, kind of like cracked ice. Um, I don't really like that, but other than that, I mean, this is great. It has ice dripping from his ears, just like he does in the game. He has the mistletoe in his blue hat. Uh, he has the same colored bow tie that the plush has. He has the same icy blue eyes, the snout, and everything is just translucent. I mean, it's, it's incredible. This is incredible. And he even comes with the icicle. He comes with the same icicle that he uses in the game. So you can have him hold that. I mean, it's it's so crazy. This is actually a really well done action figure. I mean, this is like, this is good. <laughs> I'm a big fan of this one. Um, it looks like ice. It looks like Freddy Frostbear, you know, in Final Fantasy AR. Because he's one of their, like, and he's a new character in the game. Like, he's a completely new character. Um, kind of like Chocolate Bonnie and Easter Bonnie are. So he's, uh, so it's really cool to see them making merchandise of them, and I hope that we do get more in the future. But yeah, this one is freaking awesome. <laughs> I, I'm a, such a huge fan of this figure. Um, if you can find this one, even if you're not a big Five Nights at Freddy's fan, I would still recommend you get one, because, I mean, this is just really cool. And if you are a Five Nights at Freddy's fan and you have a collection, you have to have this figure. I mean, this is, this is a really cool figure. The only weird thing is that he has like a belly button. I mean, that's a little weird, but I don't, I don't know. Maybe that's not the belly button. Maybe it's something else. But it looks like a belly button to me. I don't know why he has that. Uh, maybe they just took Pig Patch's stomach and repainted it. But it, <laughs> that's beyond me. Um, again, this is really cool. I'm a huge fan of this figure. Good job, Funko. That one looks great. But hey, guys, that is going to do it for today's episode of Jared Opens the Box. Hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.